time to do go-karts because I was a little dainty little kid. So I didn't want to do the dirt bikes and like, because I thought I was going to break all my bones, which I probably would have. And it turns out I was too small for the harnesses and the like the go-karts or whatever. And so they were like, well, you got to wait till like you get taller and you got to gain weight. And I was like seven. So I'm like, I mean, that's just not going to happen for a while because I was a little runt. And so, yeah, I watched my mom be super like she had just done the song with Beyonce for the Pink Panther movie and all this stuff. We bought a new house and all that. And so I was all depressed about not being able to race. And so she got me um, a guitar that Christmas. <laughs> mess around with it and the thing was I was homeschooled um, so for me it was just like I had nothing to do with practice I didn't have no friends I hated going outside I hated getting dirty I, so I was like sit in the house do math play video games and then now play guitar so I mean for me practicing five or six hours a day at first wasn't even because I loved it, it was just I had nothing else to do and it was like a new challenge <laughs> big John Mayer fan. I would learn all his solos and then that was actually too what ended up helping me now where producing I'm able to arrange guitar parts and even vocal parts really quickly is because when I first started learning how to play guitar how I would practice was I would take each part in the song whether it was a vocal melody or a separate rhythm part or a solo and I would dissect the whole song and just learn each part individually so probably like a year and some change into playing, I started playing for my mom at different church services she would have to go sing at. That was cool, you know, you're with your mom, you're hanging, church is a good environment to like grow your skill and all that. And then somebody saw me play with her and like, yo, we would love to have you come back and play one Sunday. And I was like, I mean, I have to ask my mom and like set up a ride and was like, we'll come get you. And then, you know, like, we'll give you, you know, like 25 or 50 bucks, you know, to come and sit with us. And I was like, wait, what? You know, I was like nine or 10. I was like, you mean you're gonna give me $25 to come and play guitar? And from there, that was when I really fell in love. I was like, oh, this is tight. publishing deal last year to um, uh, Volume Ventures Publishing, which is owned by uh, Lorance Dobson and James Fauntleroy. So they've been putting me in the room with like some really great people. So like I just um, finished working with Tommy Brown on the Ariana Grande stuff. Um, got to work on that. Been working with Alicia Keys on her next project. Got to do a song with Rance and Timbaland for Little Mix last year. Been in the studio a ton with Ty Dolla Sign. It's another good friend of mine. Especially when you're in with these major artists, you do kind of want to grab people's attention. You don't want to just be a fly on the wall when you're in a room with Alicia Keys. Like, 
you want to do something or have something that they're like, what is that? And then you can start a conversation. This guitar is that what is that? Because especially in the pop and the urban world and stuff like that, um, you know, they're not used to fan frets. They're not used to like these being angles and like I can hold a guitar like this and you know, like nobody's used to any of that stuff, but it's functional. So it's not like sometimes people will show up with super weird stuff and you're just like, wow, that's super weird. Like, why would you do that? This is like, that's super weird, but like this actually probably works better then, you know, like when I plug it in and it just sounds way better, and people are just like, oh, I guess it is great. Like, yeah. And then I'm like, hold it. And they're like, oh my God, it's so light. I'm like, I know. And these are people who are not even guitar players. The guitar is like another person in the room. Like, honestly, I'll go and do these sessions and I'll take it out the case. And even when I'm done playing my part, I'll just sit on the couch like it's a person. And then people like sit next, like nobody moves it. And it's like, oh, can I put this on the stand? Like, people just let it sit there like it's a part of the, the decor or something, you know? So that's what makes this one really cool. Mm -hmm.